so hi guys welcome to this orthopedic ot so there are two things i want to show you over here one is what we call a siam what exactly is a siam like this machine you see there is a c going under the table and this is a proper orthopedic table i have not connected the attachments over here but we can have multiple attachments so that we can give a traction onto the legs okay so this is making a c over here and this can take a shoot if the patient is over here it can take a shoot and we can take the live images onto the those two monitors okay so how does this cm help us when we talk about multiple treatment plans there is one treatment plan known as close reduction and internal fixation understood that so i tell you often in my class what is that close reduction internal fixation without opening the skin we see the particular part of the bone under the image and then we fix it by some k wire some screws like that okay so let's just see how does this cm work and how it is going to show us a particular part of the body okay so before i take this shoot from this particular machine this is like a x ray machine it has got ionizing radiations so what i have to wear i have to take proper precautions and i'll be wearing a lead apron and how we have to prepare ourselves for that let me just use a lead apron so this is what you call a lead apron okay and i'll be wearing it so i am getting ready to take a shoot from the cm so this is one my lead apron and for these thyroid which are now exposed to the radiation i'll be using a thyroid shield okay so this is my thyroid shield right so i'm wearing it over my knee so i'm ready to use this cm machine now okay so i'll ask my assistant to put her hand below the screen this will be my projector part and patient is over here considering it here put your hand over here so my assistant when she is putting the hand underneath the cm now see what happens when i take a shoot please focus on that first screen which is blank right now so when i just take a shoot now see when my assistant is keeping the hand now see what happens now we are having a real time images right so i can see if i am trying to put some you know wire in her hand if i want to fix a scaphoid if i want to fix some bone what i have to do this is distal radius if i want to fix the colic fracture so i can just have the patient under this uh, you know machine i can take a shoot and percutaneously on through the skin i can pass a wire so this is how a cm works okay so why see the arm is like a c this is a table which allows me to take a shoot okay it has got different kind of sheets which will allow these radiation to pass through and through so this is how the cm will work and will help us in the treatment plan known as close reduction and internal fixation okay so guys this is another equipment from the ot which you can find in ortho ot most oftenly this is what we call a electronic tourniquet you might have seen the manual tourniquet also this is a electronic tourniquet what is the purpose of using a tourniquet in any of the limb the purpose is that we apply this bandage to part of the limb for example if i am operating on the forearm so obviously i need a bloodless field of surgery if i am putting a incision onto the skin there will be lot of blood which will hamper my field of vision and it will not allow me to operate properly okay so what we do is this electronic tourniquet it allows me to fix a time and it allows me to fix a proper pressure which i want to give on the limb okay so when i am doing some surgery of the forearm i'll apply this band on the for uh, this arm area and then i'll put some pressure the time over here like you can see here onto the screen the time set over here is almost 2 hours okay and this side it is a uh, you can say the window which can show you the exact pressure that you have to apply so this pressure right now it is almost 160 or 170 okay so how do we apply it how to use this tourniquet there is one of the mcq that one of the student just sent me that sir exsanguination of the limb is not required in which of the following conditions okay so what is the meaning of that exsanguination so i'll just tell you so i'll use my assistant over here so what we do let's suppose i am planning to do some surgery onto the forearm area on the both bone forearm okay so i have applied one cotton pad here on the arm area and then this band i'll be applying over here so i applied this band okay and then we tie it and over that i'll be putting one more bandage i'll be using one bandage and i'll just tie it over here okay so once this is done what i'll do i'll just elevate the operating part which i want to operate i'll keep it elevated for around 2 minutes what is the purpose so when i keep it elevated all the blood from here it will just go down settle down here so this area is now devoid of any kind of blood which can hamper my field of surgery so once 2 minutes are done then what i do i'll just start here see this this is alarm reset button this is inflated button so see what happens i have done it 
I keep it elevated and keeping elevated, I just inflate it. See now what is happening. I have kept the pressure at almost 180 now. Time set is 2 hours. So now this is all tight. So now when I give an incision over here, this all area will be a bloodless field of surgery for me. It will not be hampering my field and I can easily see all the structures over here. Right. So uh, now and when I want to just deflate it, I'll deflate it and I can remove it easily. Okay. So this is how the tourniquet works. So basically, whenever they ask you about that when not to exsanguinate the limb means when not to do the emptying of the limb, when I should not do this, it is in the case of when you are expecting any kind of uh, infiltration, you know, infection, which can go down along with this blood feed. So then I don't do it. Otherwise, in all the cases, when I want to operate on the leg, I'll put it on uh, the thigh. If I want to put it on, I want to operate on the lower thigh, lower femur, I'll put it on the upper femoral area, groin area. Okay. So, this is how the tourniquet is used and exsanguination simply means emptying of the limb. I am just making this limb go empty. All the blood is getting down. 